hello guys welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to be installing postgres sql 14 and also uh, install a extra special extension called postgis 3 so to do that we need to first update our ubuntu then run upgrade To install only postgres 14 so just type postgres sql-14 so in here we are also installing a extra extension called postgis3 so that's why we are typing postgres sql 14 postgis-3 type yes wait for the install to complete let's try to log into the system type sudo i u postgres so Next we need to create a test database. I will name this my special DB. Next create a new user for the database. So I will name this. So I will name this postgres user and assign a password. Next create a special extension psql then your database name then dash c then run the sql command. You can also run this create extension postgis command in the sql terminal of the postgres sql extension is successfully created we need to also create a postgis topology extension next we need to grant all the privileges on the database to our newly created postgres user and do the same thing for all the tables in the schema public to postgres user and all the sequences which is inside the public schema also next we can verify if the postgis is successfully installed or not by running this command as you can see it is using postgis 3.2 so our postgres is successfully installed and also we have successfully installed the postgis next we need to open the port 5432 which is the default port where postgres sql is actually running and uh, we need to enable remote access to see all the current ports which are actually used by our applications you can use netstat as you can see here port 5432 is used so it is used by postgres let's go to ubuntu firewall we get and try to open this port in our ubuntu firewall so we can connect it from anywhere through the internet so we need to get out from the postgres user type exit now we are as a root user so let's open the port so this is the port that are currently opened run sudo efw allow port 5432 to allow port 5432 reload the efw okay next we need to modify the postgres sql configuration So in here we have the default port and we need to change the local host to star to allow connection from all the networks from inside and outside control O to write out control X to quit. Next we need to go to this pg underscore hba configuration file. And we need to add this line host all all then allow connection from the all network and the security will be md5 control o to write out control x to quit then we need to restart our postgres sql server to connect with your remote postgres sql database you need to install pg admin to your local system So I have already installed it. So we need to register a server. We will name it VPS Postgres. So for the host name, we need to add our VPS IP. The port will be 5432. Maintenance database will be Postgres. And username will be Postgres user. And the password, we need to enter the password also. Save the password. Save it okay let's open it as you can see here 
our special database is shown in here let's open it in extension you can see here we have installed postgis and postgis topology and in schema we can get all the tables so this tables is by default created for the topology let's open the query tool open the query tool and run this sql command as you can see is our postgis version is 3.2 and that's how you install postgres and postgis in your ubuntu vps and enable a remote connection and connect to your remote vps with the pg admin 4 thank you for watching if you like this video please hit on the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this